The day has arrived, day one of my own bread challenge to myself, and a little bread adventure uh, tackling every single recipe in Bernard Clayton's complete book of breads. And quite appropriately, the first loaf we're going to tackle is called the first loaf. He says in the book that it's a loaf that's pretty much has a guaranteed success rate and it's awesome for beginner bakers uh, to sort of develop some confidence in bread baking if they're not sure about it. So anyone out there who's like never really baked bread and is a little intimidated or can't be bothered, it sort of introduces you to this idea that you can actually produce these beautiful, beautiful loaves. I have made this loaf several times over the years. I've had this book since the 90s and um yeah so it produces a couple of loaves it's white bread you can interchange flours if you need to and hopefully during this process i'll have the opportunity to use some of the gluten-free flour mixtures that he suggests in this book as well so maybe we can revisit that with this particular loaf with the gluten-free options just for people who are interested and uh, tell me what you think. Subscribe, like, all that stuff. And I can tell more jokes. I can tell more ridiculous tales from my childhood and my adult years that were rather misguided. And I can do all that while I'm kneading bread. So let's get this party started. And um, yeah, I hope that you enjoy it. And if you don't, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm not even sure why I'm embarking on this kind of adventure, except for the fact that I absolutely love baking bread. I have loved baking bread since I was like four or five years old. And this particular book is my favorite bread book. It's one of my favorite recipe books. I go back to it all the time and I have been going back to it for almost like 25, 30 years. It's insane. I'm going to include all the specific ingredients and quantities below the video, so don't worry. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. I just thought I wouldn't bore you, and I just try to get through this quickly so it's not so painful. Some people think making bread is a pain, but I love it. It's like one of those things that I feel really like I've accomplished something. So I hope you can support me because I'm going to need your support. It'll take me years to get through this book. So I'm going to show you how to knead properly. Okay, I'm going to get a few turns in and then I'll be able to show you. But you want to slowly kind of incorporate this flour on the board. Sort of turn the dough, turn, push, fold, turn, fold, push, turn, fold, push, turn, fold, push, turn, fold, push. Turn, fold, push. All right, we're going to do that for 10 minutes. Once the board is cleared of a lot of the loose flour, before you add more, grab your dough and bang it. Woo! Bang it against there. Give it a good roast. And just keep kneading. And you can repeat that three or four times throughout the whole 10 minute process. Okay, I've spent 10 minutes kneading the dough and I did the up and down banging against the counter a couple of times. And now what we have here is a really pretty, it's very heavy, A. <laughs> B, it's very pretty, super bouncy and elastic dough. After putting the dough in a greased bowl and covering it with plastic wrap, let it sit for an hour or so to rise. It'll double, double in volume and then you're ready to shape it and get it ready to rise again before you bake it. So I've pulled it out of the bowl. I'm divvying up the dough. I, get, I have a little scale so that I can divvy it up 
relatively equally. And you spend like 30 seconds or more just kind of punching out all the air bubbles in the loaves. And then you have to kind of let them sit for a few minutes so that the gluten can kind of relax before you shape it to put it in your pan. And here I am playing with the dough. I love it. I love it. So good. Squirt, 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 squirt. Here's the boop, boop, boop. There you go. <laughs> so I let them rest for two or three minutes, shape them into ovals, fold them in half, pinch the seam. Yeah, just like that, pinch, pinch. And then I throw them into a greased pan. The pan can be greased or you can line it with parchment paper. It's up to you. So I do that with both loaves. This is a really nice dough to work with. I really enjoyed that. I haven't worked with a nice fluffy kind of white bread dough for a while, so it was really quite pleasure pleasing. So there, there you go. I've got my two loaves. They don't look like much right now, but they do rise quite a lot. I cover them with parchment, let them sit for an hour or so, and there you have it. Throw them into a 400 degree oven for 10 minutes, and then you turn it down to 350 for 20 to 30 more, and then you have this. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. I like to pull them out of the oven hot, and then you can brush the top of them with butter, and they get super like shiny and soft. So it's like this beautiful, soft, shiny crust. Oh, so good. And there's my first loaf.